Hi everyone, I'm Andisha Thompson. I'm a professionally trained photographer and I just wanted to explain a little bit about how I started becoming a photographer and basically extending my mat leave and not going back to my old desk job. Because I know a lot of moms are in a position where they're on their mat leave and they don't necessarily want to go back to work because they really want to spend time with their child and that's the situation I was in. So basically I used to be in healthcare communications and advertising agency and it was a great job. I loved it. I loved the people I worked with. I loved my company um, but I wasn't home very much. Um, either there was quite a bit of traveling involved and long days. It was quite exciting. I liked it. But when I got pregnant, I realized that that wasn't necessarily compatible with having a baby, having a young child. So I wouldn't really get to see much of my daughter. Um, so what I decided to do was I told myself, okay, I'm going to figure out a situation where I can stay off work for, let's say, two, two years, two or three years. I would be happy putting my child into childcare and then go back to work. Um, and Several years ago, about 12 years ago now, gosh, 12 years ago, I had trained as a professional photographer. And when I was on my mat leave, I started taking pictures of my NCT group. I asked them, can I take your photos? Because I, I want to do photography. I thought that's what I could do to make a little bit of extra money um, so I could extend my mat leave. So I did all the photos and I started um, basically taking photos for other people for money. But I knew in order for me to do this, I had to have three things in place. I needed number one, some financial flexibility. I knew that I needed to either have some savings or a partner that could provide enough income that I wouldn't have to match my old salary. Um, and the second thing is I needed to have a passion or something that I could sell that people would buy. Um, photography was that for me. And the third thing was I needed flexible childcare. So I needed a way for someone to come and watch my daughter the few hours that I, I needed to work during the week when, you know, she wasn't napping. So I did all that and I, and I did it for a couple of years. And after about two years, I realized, actually, I'm really enjoying this. I can make this, I'm doing well in this business. I don't need to go back to work at all. And here I am, you know, five years later doing uh, photographing children and having a very successful business. Um, and so I wanted to share with you as well the three tips of advice I would give. Um, the first one, if you do want to extend your maternity leave or not go back, is you need to find something that you're passionate about that will sell, that you will be able to make money off of it. Because um, you really have to think carefully about what it is you want to offer people and, and sell to people. And the second thing, probably more importantly, is you need to have a business plan. Oh my gosh, get a business plan, get a business plan, get a business plan, plan what you're going to do. You need to know how much do you need to make? Step backwards. How much do you need to make a month? How much do you need to make an hour? How many clients do you need in order to do that? Is it realistic? Do you have a marketing plan in place? Um, and all of these things, I know it takes a lot of time to think about, but if you have them in place at the beginning, you will do so much better. You have so much more clarity and understanding about where, where your business needs to go. Um, the second thing is get, oh no, that's the third. The third thing, that was the second thing. The third thing is get professional help. And by that, I mean get people to help you. Make sure you have a web designer. Get a professional photographer for your photos. Um, maybe you need an accountant. Make sure all the things are in place and get a cleaner. That will really help too. All the things are in place so that when you do run your business, you're not just kind of making it up as you go and trying to do everything yourself. You will save so much time if you find someone at the beginning to help you where you need help. So anyway, I hope that's really helpful to you. And that's my story. And I started joining mumming as a way to kind of get out of the house and talk to other people and actually networking as well. It's really helped for that. And I hope you guys can and enjoy your maternity leave. And if you want to extend it or if you have any questions, feel free to get in touch. I'd happy to help however I can.